Okay, this video is for 11.1a, Evaluating Absolute Value Expressions. So what we talked about today in class um, about absolute value expressions is that any of the numbers in, inside absolute value parentheses, so like these bars, even if they are negative, absolute value is a measure of how far away from zero that number is. And so let's look at problem number one and two. So this is the absolute value of negative 7. And obviously that number is negative 7, but we want to think how far away from 0 is that. And the answer is it's 7 units away from 0. Same thing with number 2. That number is negative 3, but the absolute value of negative 3, or in other words, how far away is negative 3 from 0? It's 3 units away. Now we can kind of show this on a number line. Let's take a look at number 11. Here's negative 7 on the number line, and here's 0. So obviously that is 7 units left of 0. But how far away from 0 is that? Well, if you count, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, that is 7 total units away from 0. So even though the number is negative 7, the absolute value is positive 7 because it's 7 away from 0. So essentially what we do is we treat negative numbers or any number inside absolute values as its positive version. So if you see a negative inside the absolute value sign, um, you take it to be the positive version. If you see a positive number inside the absolute value sign, you still take it to be the positive version. So let's look at number 17. We have 5 minus the absolute value of negative 3. Well, since 5 isn't in negative in, in absolute values, it's not going to change at all. We're still going to have this minus. But then the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. So this is really like 5 minus 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2. Let's do a couple more challenging ones on the back. Again, we're going to try to simplify these equations. We take the positive version of any number that's inside the absolute value. So you can see right here that we have 8 and 6 inside this absolute value. So let's do that calculation before we get rid of the absolute values. So 8 minus 6 is 2 plus 8. And the absolute value of 2 is just 2, so we can drop the signs. So now we get 2 plus 8 and 2 plus 8 is 10. Let's do one more. 24. All right, let's work inside the absolute value first. 5 plus 4 is 9, so this becomes negative 2 times the absolute value of 9. Well, the absolute value of 9 is just 9 still, so this becomes negative 2 times 9, and negative 2 times 9 is negative 18.